Hi, the purpose of this quick tip is to show you how to use the wildcard search option when using a data lookup. So with data lookups, you can place a lot of information into your form that makes it easy for your user to just select uh, the information from a list. So in this particular case, I happen to have a list of items that maybe a field service person would use, and it's a pretty extensive list. Um, it could be hundreds, it could be thousands of items in this list. So it would be a little annoying if you had to scroll down all the way to the bottom uh, to find something you were looking for. So with the wildcard search turned on, you can just start typing. So in this particular case, if I type ton, you see that it reduces my results set down to just those items that had the letters T-O-N embedded within that result. Um, very powerful, and in new forms, uh, if you have a very large data set on a mobile device, it will only load the first 500 items in, so you would have to turn on wildcard search in order to be able to find your items, and we do that for performance purposes. So it's very important that you turn that on. The other thing that I'm going to talk to you about is a feature called limit to list. So there's two options in new forms on a data lookup. One option is to allow people to pick from the list, but to also just type in any answer they want, which is cool if... Let's say you have a list of 90% of your products, but you know the, cost, the, the user still has the ability to type in a product that may not be in the list. Some people say, no, I only want them to pick from my list. So you can click on the limit the list option. And then in this particular case, if I change this to tonnage and you see that no results were found, when I click away from that form, it basically tells me that the entry must be a, a list selection. So it has to be something from within the list that you have limit to list on. And then it basically presents me with the ability to select again. So now I'm going to show you, you know, how to do those two things. So in, in a data lookup, I put a data lookup in and I put a data source into it. Um, I picked its lookup field, which was my, you know, the product name, basically charge name. And then the two options that you pick on here, one is called limit to list. So if you click on limit to list, it will only let you pick an item in the list. It will not let you type in an alternative item. And then down here, and the other, you can pick wildcard search. And if you click on the wildcard search, then it will allow you to start typing in those characters and it will start reducing your results set down to just those characters. Thank you.